All right there, folks. Spring has taken a little long to come around this year. I don't know why that is, but in the meantime, while we wait for some good quality open water fishing weather, I thought I'd show you some workouts that you can be doing to prepare yourself for that open water bite. Stay tuned. Right there the first thing you're gonna need to do at the uh, at the end of the winter is to make sure the boat runs so, so this is the motor start she's good to go now here on the Mississippi River we like to fish a lot of walters also known as walleyes and a common technique for them bad boys is vertical jigging so this is the vertical jigging workout right here Two big hooks all right now this here is gonna be by far everyone's favorite workout because this one, it's just like doing the real thing. Putting your work here, you will never be out muscled by a fish. We use the roll machine here. Well, this is your fishing pole. Get that left hand in place and you're gonna just reef on this big, big hog of a Walter here, all right? So we gotta have the good technique going down. Reel in, right? The pole and the reel. Alright, now let's say you're fishing, and instead of you hooking up on a big walter, your buddy actually hooks into a big walleye. So in this situation, instead of feeling bad for yourself and being kind of jealous, you have to hide that jealousy, okay? And you have to be the net man. And the net man is a very important job because you need to ensure that you land this big fish for him. So you have to just, you know, gently pull your fishing rod down and frantically sprint to get the net. Now to get the net, we're gonna use one of these bench press bars just to replicate the whole skin of a big walleye. So I like to call this like the Gilbert Brown Grave Digger. All right, just like the shovel, okay? We need lots of reps of this right here. Down, lift up, down, lift up. Now because we don't know the ankle, we want to make sure we get both arms here, okay? Very important there to, to ensure landing the fish. All right, this step is one of the most important steps. This is what every fisherman needs to be good at, ladies and gentlemen. All right, I'm gonna teach you how to make a three pounder look like an eight pounder. I'm gonna make you know how to make an eight pounder, maybe even look like a 12 pounder. And I might even teach you how to make that 12 pounder look like a 15 pounder. Okay, one of the most important aspects of fishing. Okay, I call this the, the fish extension. Okay, it's a very good workout to practice for those photos of fish after you catch them. The first step, we're gonna start off with our little teeny three pounder. This is probably something that you caught on your barbie rod fishing for bluegill under a bobber and it's just this tiny little bass. So we got a three pounder and now we extend out and hold one, two, three. Then we drop it, okay? I want a few sets of that. So pick fish up and extend for the picture. Extend for the picture, all right? A few more times with the three pounder. Then you can progress up to eight if you're really feeling worth it. Okay, so you got the fish right here. Now your buddy's taking a picture. Three, two, one. Extend, smile, hold it for two seconds, and let it go. All right, same thing, got it here. Your buddy is about to say, picture, smile, three, two, one, and you go right away. You don't want to hold it too soon, and I'll tell you why when you get to the bigger fish. Let's say you got a 15 pounder. Okay, so you got this 15 pounder, and you're gonna take the picture, and you get too greedy. You don't be patient, and you push that thing out right away for a picture. Now your buddy says, three, two, one, and you're sitting here looking like you have to take a poop in your pants because you're trying to hold that fish up too long. That's not what you want to do. It's a dead giveaway for, you, for all your secrets. 